Welcome back to A View to a Grill. I'm Johnny. Today I'm going to show you all the accessories I use that make smoking easy on the Weber Kettle. Now if you don't own a Weber Kettle yet, I would choose the Weber Kettle Performer. It makes the grilling experience a whole lot better. The Weber Kettle Performer has tool hooks that you can easily hang your grilling tools on. The Performer also has an easy to use bottom vent and ash removal system. You'll also get this nice little stay cool handle on the top vent. The most important thing about this kettle is the table. Having a table just makes everything about grilling easier especially when you're smoking these larger cuts of meat and you have this nice spacious work surface to wrap your bigger cuts of meat like brisket or ribs. The next item on the list is the Slow and Sear Deluxe. The Slow and Sear Deluxe is stainless steel and if I flip this over you can see the water trough and the bottom grate on the Deluxe. The water trough is removable and when you remove it that is just going to give you a lot more area for your hot zone. To set up the slow and sear, all you're going to do is bank the slow and sear all the way to one side of your Weber kettle. The next item is the slow and sear drip and griddle. It took a while for the slow and sear drip and griddle to grow on me, but I'm starting to use it more and more often. What you'll get is this drip pan and a stainless steel grate that sits right inside of it. The drip pan fits right next to the slow and sear. And as you can see, it really is a tight fit. And then when I pull back a little bit, you can see the slow and sear with the drip and griddle together. One thing I don't like about the drip and griddle pan is that it's kind of an awkward shape. And if you wanna keep it clean by wrapping it in foil, you can do it. It's just not as easy as if you were wrapping, you know, like a square sheet pan. To set the slow and sear up for smoking, fill it up with charcoal. On one side, you'd reserve a space for your lit charcoal. You then go ahead and put some wood chunks in. And then once your charcoal is lit, you just pour it right into that space you reserved earlier. This is how it would look once you have your slow and sear set up for smoking. Yeah, I did paint these charcoals to simulate burning charcoal. I think it gets the job done pretty good. If you don't want to go the dripping griddle route, you can always get a sheet pan like this one and use it. Just know that it's not going to be as effective as the dripping griddle pan. It will be a whole heck of a lot cheaper. To make the slow and sear a lot easier to use, slow and sear sells grill grates. Slow and sear's easy spin grill grate is stainless steel and it has a large door so that you can easily add charcoal when you need it. Now that we have all the components, let's finish setting up the Weber kettle. I have been using this little orange high temperature rubber thing for my thermometer pros because I like the setup better when the thermometer is parallel with the slow and sear. Then I use the grill clips to route the wire away from the slow and sear and keep it away from the heat. I'll then fill in the water trough with hot water. And then once you have your water in, you can put on your protein. Now, this plank of wood is simulating ribs, and we'll just get that on just so you can see what it all looks like. Now, you just close the lid, and you want to make sure that your vent is over the protein. And now, all you have to do is start controlling your temperature. And in this case, to help me read the ambient temperature, I'm using the Thermalworks signals. The nicest thing about the water trough and the dripping griddle is that it fits easily into your dishwasher. And now let's talk about another accessory, and that is the Golden's Cast Iron Sear Plate. Golden's Cast Iron has two sear plates, and the one we're using today is the one that they make for their 20 and a half inch Kamado. You have the sear plate, and now you're gonna need the two Weber Kettle baskets that your performer came with. I'll reserve a spot right in the middle for my lit charcoal. Next, all we have to do is put in our wood chunks and then just pour in our lit charcoal. Now you can put your sear plate right on top of those Weber kettle baskets. And then right on top of the sear plate, you'll put a drip pan, which I'm also gonna be using as a water pan. And just for your information, this pan is 12 by 17 and a half. And then you put your grates on and the grates won't sit on the tabs. They're gonna actually be sitting on the drip pan. 
And now you can set up your ambient thermometer. And if you want, you can add water directly to your drip pan, which now makes it a water pan. And the last item that makes smoking easy on the Weber kettle is a thermometer. In this video, I'm using the Thermalworks Signals. It comes with an app and it is Wi-Fi. If that's a little too much thermometer for you, then Thermalworks also makes a smoke where you have the main unit and then you have a receiver that you can carry around with you to monitor the temperature of your probes. And then on a side note, I also use the slow and sear and the sear plate to do smash burgers. But that is a story for another video. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I don't know why not. I think you should subscribe to this channel. You made it this far. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching A View to a Grill. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, y'all.